This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kyoto Koto, and welcome to Art Society in about three minutes. Review copy used. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two to four players, playing time is short, and it's a pretty simple game. You are an art collector trying to assemble the greatest and most interesting art collection of all. Can you impress the impressionists and master the masters? The game ends if each player has used all of their 20 bidding cards, or if any player's personal board is completely full, or if they have gained two paintings they cannot place on their board. The winner is the player with the most points, which is entirely based on what paintings you are displaying. Auctions. Every round there will be an auction. Drafting. That auction determines the draft order for these tiles. Tile placement, which you then place on your board to score points. Player turn. You'll have a player board and will be given a random starting tile. It must be placed covering one of the two stars on your board. You will also get a set of 20 bid cards numbered 1 through 20. Assign one of these white cards to each player. This determines the turn order for the first turn. The first player is the auctioneer and looks at the stack of tiles in the box. They take a number of tiles from the box equal to the number of players plus one and place them face down in the middle of the table. You can choose any numbers and any combination of shapes. Then place a marker above each group to show their rating and then flip them over. Aside from size and rating, each painting has two major pieces of information. The type of painting it is, shown by the colored symbol, and what type of frame it has. Now the auction takes place, with each player secretly selecting one of their bid cards and placing it face down on their personal stack. Reveal them all at the same time. The highest bidding player goes first and so on down. In the case of a tie, the highest previous bid wins the tie break. Once spent, you do not get your bid cards back. Players select their tiles until only one remains, and that one is placed at the central board at the edge matching its type color. Its type marker is moved ahead a number of spaces equal to the painting's rating. If moving a painting ahead would have it share a space with another marker, it is bumped back. When placing a tile on your board, there are several things to note. The first is that if you connect two paintings with the same symbol, so here yellow, neither will score points at game end. The second is that paintings must connect to an existing one. The third point is that when two paintings share a frame type, you get to place a bonus victory point tile. And here we place a frame that touches three other frames, and we get three points of decor bonus tiles to place. Note this lighter band here. This is the eye line, and paintings here may score more points. Your assistant can hold one painting for you to place later, and if you cannot place a painting at all, you can swap your painting for one of the spare ones by the main board. Once the game ends, move these markers to the top of the board based on the order they finished in. The leftmost painting types are only worth two victory points, while the rightmost ones are worth five victory points, and eight if they are in your eye line. At the end of a round, the first player marker moves to the right, and they start a new auction. Why would you like this game? There is a lot to love in Art Society, but I'll start off with the obvious. It's a great looking game, and the process of drafting paintings and placing them on your display in the most efficient way possible is very satisfying. And while the game isn't cutthroat or in your face at all, the auctions and shared scoring system you can manipulate definitely make you feel like you are in competition. The auction system is sneaky too, because there are occasions where it's pretty good to go last. All up, this is a clever game with lots of fun decisions, but without unnecessary complexity, and I'd recommend it for just about any group. The best thing about this game is the paintings, so many classic artworks presented with unique twists. However, the rules around the assistant, excess paintings, and exchanging paintings is written in a very confusing way, so I highly recommend you get how those rules work clear in your mind before playing. And as mentioned, there's no direct way to attack other players or to slow them down. For a simpler game about art auctions, try Modern Art. And for a different take on set collection, try Museum. Art Society. Looks good in any collection, gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.